to In the Bronx, New York, yeah, that's where I was born Singing, dancing day and night and oh so strong In the project, struggling through thick and thin All I know is when I write, it comes within Little life can nappy headed girl I was Hello, hello world. I love you so much. This is your arts reporter, the arts reporter, Miss Mimi Johnson. You are logged on to MimiJohnson.net. Pretty is pink, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. Today, we are focusing on breast cancer awareness, and we have fabulous survivors. I have my fabulous co-host, Miss Nichelle Fox, who is going to hold it down with me. And we have many, many scheduled dates after this show for Pretty is Pink. We are going to continue our show to raise awareness for our, uh, breast cancer, the cure, support our victims, and give a lot of love and attention to our survivors and men and women that are dealing with this evil of a thing. That's the only thing that I can say. And it's killing so many of us as people, as, for the, as far as the human race. I'm very emotional about this subject. And um, I... I got my pretty and pink on for y'all. <laughs> and I got a little, uh, yeah, just for you. Um, I want to, first of all, I got to give a shout out to all of the people that have been on my chat that I haven't gotten a chance to shout you out. Real quick, Joan Cartwright, my mother, who I totally love. I'm just like her. Uh, Io Jersey, Steve Scarlett, Nichelle, who is my co-host today, uh, Cheryl H., Traja and Champ and anyone else that I've forgotten just email me at thearchreporter at gmail.com so I can shout you out. Now for those of you that don't know I am doing a little promo that if you go into our chat and you are watching us today you will receive a free CD just for watching but also there are um, there's going to be some websites that we are going to plug for the three day uh, walk and for breast cancer awareness and I want you to go and donate I don't care if it's two dollars five dollars ten dollars twenty dollars I want you to go when the shell Fox she will plug these um, she will plug one website and you are to go there for me go there for our survivors go there for our supporters and donate two dollars one dollar Okay, now I need y'all to do this for me because this is very, very important because money is how we are going to be able to get the cure. Sherelle or Sherelle Perry, I love you. Thank you. I see that you're tuned in. Uh, one of our Facebook survivors. Ah, she was supposed to be here today, but she will be here for our December show. She is in Columbus, Georgia. So, Miss Perry, we love you so much. And um, got to give, tell my audience, my viewers, that I love you. And Reverb Nation, for my fan mail, Mercedes Ferreira. Thank you, Mercedes. She says, great music, exclamation point. Sharon Passmore, See About Me, which is one of my singles. She says, See About Me is awesome. Wow, I love it. Mike Aloya with Harmony Booking. He actually texted me. He said, Mimi, you're going to be the next Oprah, darling. Hey, Oprah and Larry King at the same time, baby. Okay, I'm trying to get that mixture going on. Not trying. I am getting that mixture going on. Oprah and Larry King style, which I'll think about that. Ah, I know y'all like my ring. I'll tell you who made it in a little bit. Uh, Mike Aloya, always stay simple. You carry the light as well as me. We are on a mission from God. Much love, my friend. I love you, Michael Loya. HarmonyBooking.com. And Natalie Goodman, Dallas, Texas. She emailed me. She said, I love your work. Mimi, just keep doing your thing, Miss Lady. You are destined for so much success. 
I just love you. And I love you too, Natalie. Thank you so much. Also, just got to let y'all know that Saturday, October 13th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., Fox's Trotters is hosting the Bra Painting Party. Yay! I will be there. <laughs> and um, it's going to be at the, it looks like, Bronner, B R A. W N E R Hall, okay, Brawner Hall, 3180 Atlanta Road, North, Southeast, and that's Smyrna, Georgia. Now, um, you can get your tickets. Actually, just email blkfoxx69 at aol.com. But Saturday, October 13th, we're having our bra painting party. And of course, we are going to be supporting breast cancer survivors, fighters, activists, and people that are in, I would say, going through that challenge now. So, um, and for more information, you can always email me, the arts reporter. <laughs> at gmail.com I'm so excited I love you so much we're going to go to a commercial break you are logged on to MimiJohnson.net the arts reporter where we focus on arts entertainment entrepreneurs and inspirational life stories we love you so much pretty is pink and we will be right back Mwah. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? This is the Arts Reporter. Your Arts Reporter, Miss Mimi Johnson. I love you so much. Thank you for tuning in. All of my people that are on chat, Al's going to let me know who's on chat so we can go ahead and put y'all down for that free CD. I have my co-host, Pretty is Pink, my co-host, Miss Nichelle Fox. How are you, baby? I am doing fantastic, and you know I am loving being here today. <laughs> Everything is all about the pink, and I have to steal this. just so ah, I'm going to let you get, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to wear this shirt <laughs> again. <laughs> you know, so, you know, you as a celebrity, you can, yes, only, you can wear, only wear it once, right? But yes. uh, whatever. Yes. I don't know. You might see me in it again in a couple of months, but I think I might let you go ahead and get it girl yes, let me rock it <laughs> I one will. Time, one time. that'll work for me that'll work for me how yes. you doing i'm doing fantastic i am so excited about okay. today and yes. everything that's coming up i'm excited i'm nervous i'm getting anxious but i'm confident that everything's yes. gonna fall into place and it's gonna be what it's supposed to be now we're both bronx babies Holla. from the boogie down that's okay she is my facebook friend nichelle with an n i c h e l l e f o x go right. to uh, Facebook. Now, yes. let's just talk about your journey real quick and how you became this fabulous activist. Thank you. And I noticed that is my new title, so it seems. 
Breast cancer has been something that I've been passionate about since I was a youth. So it's been quite a while, about 20 years. And as I got older, the passion just grew and grew. And once I got here in Georgia and I was able to participate in the three day 60 and mm -hmm. start to take on this journey, it just exploded. Um, I've met fabulous people. Yes. I've cried with fabulous people. I've supported, walked with, laughed with. Um, people have shared their stories with me. I've written a book about it. Yes. It's just been something that has taken over. Yes, yes. And the name of your book is Notes Along My Journey. Right. Notes Along My Journey. Which Beautiful. Right here. Yes. Now, did I get a copy of that? I don't think you I don't got think a copy. so. So I do believe <laughs> <laughs> You know what she's doing, right? This is my copy. You know what she's doing, right? <laughs> yes. Um and this book is filled with poems, notes, and inspirational messages for women or their support systems that are yeah. on this journey. And it doesn't have to be a journey, particularly breast cancer, but the book is geared to that because every day somebody is facing life's challenges. Mm -hmm. And it'll help you if you don't really feel like talking to your best friend or you feel like you're being a burden. You can open this book and there's something in here that's gonna make you laugh, that's gonna make you cry, that's gonna make you smile or nod your head in agreement. Right. This is a book you need to get. Right, the book. And I believe that it's gonna be coming up on the screen in a few minutes so that you can see it a little bit clearer. And okay, so your journey as far as what first of all, how many walks have you done? This is gonna be my third three day 60 mile walk. Okay. Uh, we've participated, we being myself and my children, in multiple 5Ks here, both here in Atlanta and while we were in New York. Yes. It's just been something that if I do it, they do it, we all do it together. Yes. So. The journeys are the ones that are the most intense. They have the most impact. They touch and you reach the most amount of people because there is a huge family of paint walkers from husbands, wives, daughters, nieces, nephews. We're all out there and our team, Fox's Trotters, is made of a family system. Mm -hmm. My partner, her children, my children. So we're all involved in this together. So we're not doing it alone, even though we might be there as one person. We have that support network and that's the important piece in this fight. Yes, donate at www.the3day dot com go to Nichelle Fox and make your donation and anybody that makes a donation tonight of ten dollars or more will get a raffle ticket for a five night hotel stay all you have to do is make your donation yes. the more donations you make the more tickets you can get right and you will also receive my fabulous woman CD for free and I'll make sure that I get it to you uh, woman the LP 14. Which is fabulous. Ah. Fabulous. It is fabulous. You need to get that. Give them the website again twice. Okay. www.the3day.org. Go to Nichelle Fox and make your donation. $10, $5, $25, $50. Every single bit mm -hmm. counts. The more you donate, the more tickets to the raffle you will get. And I'll send them to you via email. You get a tax donation. You can make installments. Who ever heard of such a thing? Right. Go make your donation. Yes. $5, $10, make it today. And the other thing um, about donating is, is that we become closer to a cure. That's the important that's the That's what, what it is. But we're going to give you some extra, extra, just so that you can be as excited as we are to coming closer yes. to a cure for breast cancer. The walk. The walk. October. October is right around the corner. 19. Seven days away. That's right. The 19th. All right. So they can also get that information at um, at your website. At the website. Mm -hmm. The information is there. If you visit me on Facebook, mm -hmm. the information is there. I have it posted everywhere. So if you can't find it, email me. I'll get it to you. Right. And and um, Nichelle Fox or Fox Trotters, if you just Google, if you just put that in the browser and Google it, She's going to come up. Everything comes up. Okay, so she's not hard to find. Not at all. And for those that don't know about this particular um, disease, um, 
it can kill you it can kill your best friend it can kill your mom your dad at any given moment so understand that this is not just um something to play with we are serious the other day and i've posted this on my blog and on facebook there was an article in cobb county those of you that live in cobb county you need to get a mammogram you need to get yourself checked Cobb County has a 34.1% mortality rate from breast cancer. Mm. That's here in Georgia, Cobb County. So ladies, if you have not gotten a mammogram, if you have not done your breast self-check exam, do so. Most women who do their own exams find their lumps before they actually get to have a mammogram. Check yourselves. Encourage a girlfriend, sister, friend, mother yes. to check themselves. Make your appointment for your mammogram. It might just save your life or that of a loved one. You get into the habit. You do it every year. Yes. Make your appointments. And you can also join our events page. Hey, Sherry Thomas in Hinesville. We love you. And Sherelle Perry. Hey. We love you, Sherelle. Thank you. Also, join our events page, Pretty is Pink, That's because right. this is an ongoing television series that we will be doing every other month. Pretty is Pink. We're at Facebook. Look, we got um, we got a commercial to go to, and then we, we got have some great guests coming up. We got our first guest, Sally, and she is going to tell us out. She's going to tell us her story. Yes, she is. Oh my God! So we'll be back right after these messages. Pretty is pink Season. on the Arts Reporter Web TV series. This is your host, Miss Mimi Johnson, Miss and co-host. We'll be right back after these messages. We love you. <laughs> We love you so much. You are tuned in to the Arts Reporter, where it goes down every Wednesday at 7 p.m. right here at MimiJohnson.net. We are presenting our Pretty is Pink show, where we are uh, focusing and presenting breast cancer awareness. We have Miss Sally. Hello. Oh, my goodness. She is a survivor. Let's just go. First of all, where are you from? I am from Marietta, Georgia. Okay. And... When did you, when, when, when you found out that you had breast cancer, what was your first reaction? Not me. Not me. There's no history in my family. Yes. There was no lump. There was uh, a yearly mammogram. Yes. And early detection is imperative. You have to do your self-check. You have to do your mammograms. And they called me and they didn't, I didn't get it over the phone. He said, we see something we want to take a closer look. I've already made your appointment. Okay. And I had a fabulous doctor, fabulous team. Okay. And uh, went right in, had, you know, had my um, second opinion. Okay. And went from there, and it would be three years in November. Yes. So did you go through chemo? No. To no, tell no. us, tell us your process. What was your 
what was your process to becoming healed again? I had the surgery. I had um, my right breast removed. Mm -hmm. I had uh, stage one DCIS, which is calcification. Okay. And uh, it was up to the oncologist to determine whether or not I needed to have the chemo. And she said, she sent it, that she sent everything out. Everybody looked at it, they presented it at the hospital and they decided that they had gotten it all and that I didn't need it. Okay. So, but I am on um, uh, medication. We'll be on medication for five years. Okay, what kind of medication is that and what is it for? It's for, um, it's called Femera. It's not the, the, most people get tamoxifen or something of that nature, but mine is, um, the Femera is for hormone receptor positive cancer, which I have, which means I have all the hot flashes that I've already had. I've had, I can't take any natural hormones at all. So, okay. So when I start to sweat, you'll see it. You'll see <laughs> okay. my You should be flash. one hot mama. <laughs> yes. Um, and I'll have that for five years. Well, two more years. Two more years. Now your family, were they very supportive of oh, you? Yes, yes. What did they feel when you told them that you had breast cancer? I mean, what, 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 what? How did they react towards that? Um, I have a daughter who's is twenty three and a son who's twenty eight. Um, mom doesn't get sick. Mom's mom just doesn't. She's never sick. Yeah, you know. And it was uh, the first thing they wanted to know was, I going, were you going to die? And uh, mm -hmm. even though, you know, they're grown up, they're not really grown up, they're still my babies. Yes, you know? they'll always, always be, be babies. my babies. Yes. And uh, once we got through the surgery and that kind of, you know, it was, Jesus. <laughs> sorry. It's sorry. okay. Do your sorry. thing. Sorry. No, sorry. no. Well, this is, we you know, need this. I know, I know. And sometimes, um, Sometimes I can talk about it, like I can talk about it at work if somebody has a question or yes. you know, something like that. It's like it's another, it's somebody else. It happened to somebody else. Yes. That's kind of where I put it. It's over here, you know. But then I'm, when I'm by myself or I'm reading notes along my journey, where's your book? <clears throat> when I'm reading or something, and and it just thought it all just comes back and then it'll it'll go away. <laughs> so right. So but doing things like this helps get it out there there are other people I know that are sitting at home or sitting in the hospital like I was when I decided that I was going to do this three day that's where I saw the commercial yeah after I came out of surgery and I thought you know it's one of those things that you see it on TV oh that's terrible you know yeah it really is terrible when you when you stop and think of of the people that it does affect and if walking can get it done, then we need to walk. We yes. need to walk every day as 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 much as we can. You know, and raise as much money as we can. Mm -hmm. I'm not walking this year, but Michelle is. Yeah. Go to her website. Mm-hmm. And plug your donation. the org. Michelle Fox. I'm walking for myself. I'm walking for Sally. I'm walking. I'm walking. I'm walking for Shandia. Yes. I'm walking for everybody that's here. Mimi. I'm walking for Joan. I'm walking for every woman that is not able to walk. I'm walking for the little girls that are here, that are seeing their moms ill. I'm walking for every little girl that has yet to be. I'm walking for those men that are keeping it a secret because they're embarrassed and they're ashamed. I'm walking for every person that's out here. Yes. Make your donations today. Please. Plug. <laughs> the three day dot org go to Michelle Fox we need your support we cannot do this alone you don't have to make this journey alone yes and Janessa Janessia says I'm the daughter of Sh Sherelle, Sherelle Perry and she's my inspiration Yay! to live I love her so much a true fighter yes, and we love you yes. we love you yes. so yes. much and we miss you yes, yes. <laughs> and we will see you on Facebook tonight yes. Yes, we will. Uh -huh. Or probably in the morning. Yes. No, she'll be on tonight. She'll be on, she'll tonight. Be on tonight. Oh, yes. we love Sherelle so much. Yes.
yes. She now let's just talk a little bit about Sherelle real quick. She just 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 had her had surgery. her surgery. Yes. Her she just had her breasts removed. Yes. For those of you that, because I want to go in. Yes, she had a double mastectomy. She was scheduled to be one of our guests tonight, but. I made sure that I asked her to check with her doctor yes. just to make sure and knock on wood that I did. He advised her not to travel, so she wasn't able to make it. Um, she still has her tubes. She bought a shirt just so that she would be comfortable, but we have to follow the doctor's advice yes. <laughs> at all times. So she can't make it today, but we know that you're watching and we have nothing but love for you, girl. We what? love you! Okay, but we're going to see you in December. I told you I had something in store. Yes, yes, yes. So, Miss Sally, how, how's your family and you now? How well, are you? We're great. We're fabulous. Fabulous to take someone's words. Fabulous. Great. Fabulous. <laughs> fabulous. And give us some last inspirational words and advice. Please, please do your self check. Do your mammograms. Your mother, your sister, your best friend somebody you don't even like this is not something you would wish on anybody right and I didn't even go through what most people go through mine was you know mine was more none of it is easy but when it happens to you I almost feel guilty because I didn't because I didn't have to have chemo or I didn't you know but when it's you it's all you just need to do it just do it <laughs> Yeah, that's all I can say. I love Thank you, so much, <laughs> sweetheart. So and I'm beautiful. I'm going to wear that shirt because I can fill it out. Oh, you can fill. You'll be able to go. Girl, you'll be able to left out. Ah! No shirt. Okay? Like, make my own. Make my own. Oh, uh, plug the website www.the3day.org go to Nichelle Fox make your donation remember $10 $5 it all counts for every $10 donation you'll get a raffle ticket entry check in on the chat room so you can get a free CD come yes. on yes yes and don't forget matching gifts that's your, right your business your company wherever you work check and make sure that they do have matching gifts and if they don't ask if they would yes. because that's two for the price of one that's there right. you go all right well you are logged on pretty is pink mimi johnson my beautiful co-host michelle, michelle fox, fox our beautiful survivor sally and we will be back right after these messages you are tuned in to mimi johnson.net the arts reporter your arts reporter where we focus on arts entertainment entrepreneurs and inspirational life stories we'll be right back right after these messages mm -hmm. Mwah. <laughs> Oh, 
Atlanta. How y'all doing? This is Miss Mimi Johnson, the arts reporter, your arts reporter. You are tuned in. I am here with my beautiful co-host, Miss Nichelle Fox. Hello, everybody. Plug your website. Go donate. www.the3day.org. Nichelle Fox. Make your donations today. We appreciate it. We need it. Yes. Go and donate. Go and donate. It's tax deductible. It's for a wonderful cause for breast cancer awareness. And I want all of my viewers and all of my friends and family and everyone that knows me, you know how passionate I am, go and donate. Okay. I cannot stress that enough how much money is what's needed so that we can find the cure. Yes. Bold and breast breastless. Bold and breastless. This is Shandia. Shonda yes, Sabari. Yes, when I tell you I met this young lady at an event that I was covering and I was listening to her story. I'm trying to interview people and <laughs> and then I turn around and I'm like, wait a minute. I don't want to talk to you right I now. Be over here. <laughs> what is she talking about? And she was talking about breast cancer awareness, how she got breast cancer, got her tatas removed, and she is bold and breastless. How are you, sweetheart? I'm great. How are you? You are just, she is the most <laughs> cutest thing ever. Do you see her picture up there? <laughs> oh, my God. And that's not a photo shoot uh, pic, ladies and gentlemen. She's really this gorgeous. Thank you. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I am wonderful. Thank you. Let's start off with where are you from? I'm from Timmonsville, South Carolina. Okay. <laughs> All right. And now, when, when you... When they told you that you had breast cancer, what was the first thing that was on your mind? It was time to write my obituary. That was the first thing that was on my mind. Um, when I got the news, I got it over the phone. Okay. I had no known family history at the time. Okay. I had no lumps, no discomfort, no discharge, no signs to suggest breast cancer. Okay. I had a thought that popped up in my head that I needed to get a mammogram. That very next day, I had an appointment scheduled already with my OBGYN for my annual. And um, she, after you know doing the examination, I said, I gotta tell you something, I had this weird thought. Speak and, up just a little <clears throat> bit more. Okay, and so I said, I had this weird thought, and mm -hmm. she said, tell me about it. So I told her that I had a thought that I needed to get a mammogram. She okay. asked if I did a self-examination, I did. Um, told her I did, did not feel any lumps. She did an examination, didn't feel any lumps. Okay. Um, went through the process, went through having another mammogram, biopsy, and then I got that phone call. Um, I told them that I wanted them to call me. And so when I got the word, the nurse said, well, you told us you wanted us to give you a call. Unfortunately, it's cancer. So I'm thinking, which breast? She told me both breasts. So I was devastated. I had two types of cancer in my right breast. I had DCIS and LCIS, but it was all stage zero in my right breast. Um, in my left breast, I had all DCIS, but I had stages zero and stage one. So I was devastated. But my thing to my husband and my children, Jesus rode on the th rose on the third day. So we had three days to weep. We weren't going to stay down crying. Three okay. days and we had to get up. Okay. You know? <laughs> girl, you go ahead with your bold <laughs> self. She, this girl is strong. Go. Keep going. <laughs> and so, you know, we had our three days to moan, to weep, and to cry. And enough of that. Because crying wasn't going to help. It wasn't going to solve mm. the problem. You know, if they needed to cry, you know, you cry, but we're just not going to stay down in the hole. Yes. Um, I wanted to get three different opinions. Um, one was the radiologist that, you know, actually, um, you know, did the, uh, sent everything off and, and gave me the report. I wanted to get an opinion from a regular breast surgeon. Okay. And a surgical oncologist. And I decided to go with my surgical oncologist. Um, I kept my kids, seven and eight, in the loop. 
they were writing questions they did their research you know wow. we did everything together they asked questions if it was words that they didn't understand they had to look up the meaning if they still didn't understand you know they had to talk to me my husband our doctor or my doctor wow. um, and so we, it was a team it was a team thing mm -hmm. a team effort yes. and when we got to a point that it was time to let my doctor know what I wanted to do I went to my husband and I said I need to tell I need to talk to the kids okay so and I said well let me take a shot right quick because I needed to organize my thoughts you know kind of get myself together and so while I was in the shower and having been raised by my grandparents I was in the shower and I said grandma what do you want me to do what do you want me to do she didn't speak to me I, the dead don't talk to me <laughs> so but what came over me and then after saying that I said God help me show me what you want me to do yes and what came over me was I imagined what my grandmother would have said didn't mm. hear any voices didn't see any shadows but what came over me was baby let those doctors take your breasts and make yourself satisfied and when that came over me I had such peace I got out of the shower and I told my husband I said now I'm ready to go in the living room or in the kitchen and talk to the kids. Okay. So I sat at the table and I said to my babies, I said, if I decide to let the doctors take both of my breasts, would you all be embarrassed if mommy had no more breasts and all the other kids' mommies had breasts? Okay. And my son looked at me in tears and he said, I can't believe you're asking us something like this. He said, all we care about is you living. Hmm. And my daughter, wow. she said, <laughs> my daughter, she said, I wish somebody would pick at you and I would kick them in the face. So when I <laughs> sound like something I would have said when I was a little girl, talk about my mama. <laughs> so when I got my confirmation from my kids, at this point, when I went back in the room to my husband, who God is the head of my life, but my husband is the head of my house. Yes. And by the way, I can't sing, but I love me some him. <laughs> ah, she loves you, man. <laughs> and so at this point, it was no need to ask him what he wanted me to do because, and this had nothing to do with the cancer. This, I'm getting into self esteem. Now yes, yes, because yes. Because yes. grandma always told me, you know, you can wake up with Boo today and you can, and he can go to work and everything can be fine and he can love you and kiss you. Mm -hmm. And Boo can come home and say, he don't want the marriage anymore. This don't, whether you have cancer or not, right. this had nothing to do with the cancer. So, with that always being in the back of my head, that my grandmother told me that, I said to my husband, the kids are okay with it. I'm gonna have them removed. And I'm not gonna do reconstructive surgery. I'm not gonna do prosthesis. Cause I don't have a point to prove to anybody. That's I'm right. confident, I'm happy, I'm gonna have life. The cancer didn't take my self esteem yeah, and I'm not gonna allow you to take it. And if you need breasts, you let me know so that you can exit this marriage. I won't ask you for child support or alimony. And he looked at me and he said, with tears in his eyes, I will break your neck before I let you go. <laughs> <laughs> so when he said that, I knew that we were all on one accord right. in my household. And so the very next day, I remember going to my doctor mm -hmm. and um, and she asked, you know, what I wanted to do, told me that the, the plastic surgeon could be in immediately upon surgery. Um, and I told her there won't be a plastic surgeon. Take these little chicken gizzards off. Mm. Send them floating in the Chattahoochee River. Okay. <laughs> and give me life. <laughs> and give me life. And give me life. And um, 24 hours before my surgery, I went to nuclear medicine. And the tech scared me to death. She said, oh, it spread. The cancer spread. I was so nervous, so scared. And my husband said, she has no right telling you that. She don't know what she's talking about. So I was just a nervous wreck. So I told my husband, I said, you know what? You and the kids go get something to eat take me I need some time to myself and since it was 24 hours before my surgery we had a hotel room in town so that we could be closer to my to the hospital um, so he dropped me off at the hotel and as I was in the room just bawling just crying something came over me again and it was what I envisioned or imagining my grandmother saying to me and what that was get yourself together and stop that crying that yeah. girl don't know what she's talking about Again, peace 
came over me. Yes. And I called my husband and I said, y'all come on back. I'm going to be okay. That night, I was forced to trust God 100% because it was at that point that I knew what grandma used to talk about or used to mean when she would say, baby, ain't no need to worry because worrying ain't going to help. It sure I isn't. I knew what she meant. Yes. And so that was one of the most peaceful nights rest I've ever had. That next morning when I went in the hospital, I was ready to go. My team came in, my surgeon, she said, are you ready? And I said, I'm ready. I don't want y'all to push me because I had to go like two doors around to get to the OR room. I said, I want to strut one more time. <laughs> so I got out of the bed um, and one, uh, one of the members of the team was holding the little IV mm -hmm. pack. And they let me walk around to the other room. And I, the last thing I remember was putting, putting my right leg on the bed, on the table, and laying back. And when I woke up in recovery, my husband was standing over me and I said, am I okay? And he says, you're fine. Mm -hmm. The cancer did not spread. They got it all. Um, I didn't have to do chemo. Okay. I didn't have to do radiation. I was going to do tamoxifen, but then I thought the cancer that I had was ER and PR positive, estrogen and progesterone positive. Okay. So then I elected to do a total hysterectomy. So I didn't have to do tamoxifen. I also have to do the Femera, and I have to take that for five years. Uh -huh. um, my doctors sent my oncotype off. Um, you get a score between zero and 100. It tells the chances of recurrence mm -hmm. and the benefits of chemo, or, or, or you know, the chemo would be beneficial, um, or let the doctors know if it would be beneficial for chemo. Um, and so if your score is a 30 or higher, the chances of recurrence is higher. Okay. My score is was a seven. Ah! And in the Holy Bible that I read, King James Version, seven means perfection and completion. Yeah. And I am totally and Complete. completely healed. There you go. And having had cancer was not a bad experience. You see, it was a love story. It was a book that wow. God wrote of my life that I could not have done a better job at. So it didn't take my life. It didn't take my self-esteem. It made me better. I think I, I, I'm just more, I feel more beautiful. Not that I didn't before, but I know my purpose now. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm so yes. thankful. Yes. And we are thankful to have you here with us, you bold and breastless, just diva. Okay. Please and plug your story. <laughs> did not move you. Uh, <laughs> plug your website. www.boldandbreastless.com. Deborah Clark Austell, we love you, Deborah and Austell. Hi, Thank you so much. Hi, Plug Deborah. where everybody can go Make and your donate. donate to <laughs> www.the3day.org. Nichelle Fox, we have inspiration in the house all day. If this doesn't inspire you to make a donation to save your life, to support those lives that are being saved. I don't know what will. We need your support. Make your donation. Go to www.the3day.org, Nichelle Fox, and make anything that you can give with love to support this fight. We do this for ourselves. We do this for you. Yes. Make your donations, please. Yes. And you will see um, the October 13th, uh, we're going to have our bra painting party. Yes. I'm so and excited that about that. so much fun. I get the bra I, can I do like about three bras and okay. paint all different ones? You can do it however you like. You can paint the bras. We're asking women to bring two bras. If mm. it doesn't fit right, you don't like it anymore, you're getting rid of your underwire, bring it. Paint it, decorate it. Okay. We're going to burn one. We're going to decorate one. You can take it home. You can frame it. You can display it. Wear it under your clothes if you like. Okay. And then bear it off. Ah! <laughs> or you can donate it and we're going to have an auction. Yes. So make them come out to the event. You can get your tickets. They're on Eventbrite. You can contact me. The tickets are now on sale. It's from 11 to 3. We're going to have live entertainment. Live entertainment. Okay. okay. I'm singing. Yes, oh! yes. Yes, she is. Okay. <laughs> Come out, support us. We're doing everything that we can so that we can raise awareness in the community. Yes. And it doesn't matter where your community is. If you need me to come to your community, call me. Email me. We will be there. We need all of the communities, everyone to be involved in this fight and this journey yes. so that you do not have to have a life-changing experience that might not be what you want it to be.
please make your donations. Mm. Support this fight. We need you. Yes, we need you. I love you so much. Oh, I love you so much, Nichelle, Shonda. We are bringing Sally back because we have 15 minutes more of our show. And we want to dedicate these last 15 minutes to just a sisterhood discussion. Also, I got to give a shout out to my photographer, Steve Moore, who is in the house with us wearing his pink <laughs> ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll see pictures that we will post um, in the next couple of days. Um, but we're going to go to a commercial break and we'll be right back. Also, you bought some pink cupcakes. So we're yes, gonna, I did. So yes, gonna, I did. Ah, <laughs> gonna, and I they still, are so delicious looking. I can't wait to taste them. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to taste one while we're all together when we bring Sally back. And then your husband, he bought some chicken. <laughs> oh, pamper me. And to donate some rods. Oh, pamper me. That's very Charnette. Good, very good. That's Charnette. And actually, she has a, um, she's got, a, just go to MimiJohnson.net. And you got to just see all of the uh, events that we have going on. But yes. Pamper Me Pink, she has an event going on. Go to MimiJohnson.net. You'll see it there. I'll be singing there as well. Yes. That event is also on October 13th. 13th, right. It's October 13th but, as well. But yours is 10 a.m. And then you can go to her event later. At 7 so p.m. Pack your day. Pack your day with breast yes. cancer pack Yes, yes. Pack it in. I'll yes. be, I'll be I'm pink. I'm so excited. I'll be pink to death. <laughs> now, you see on my banner as well, in back of us, I have tar that's pink because I always wanted to represent for this the acronym the arts reporter and when I had um, Jay Carter Carter J my artist draw it I said I've got to represent for my pink so I was like make T-A-R make that pink so that I always have pink in my life when I'm doing my TV shows Pamper Me Pink wants to donate uh, some bras and you go to www.pampermepinkevent.com Shawnette we love you and that's going to be the 13th oh yes. my god we're going to yes. have so much fun we'll be right back after these messages you are logged on to the Arch Reporter your Arch Reporter Miss Mimi Johnson at mimijohnson.net every Wednesday it goes down right here at 7pm also go to the archives and check us out and at youtube.com forward slash the arts reporter we are bringing back sally we got our cupcakes we got some chicken we ain't gonna eat the chicken <laughs> we ain't gonna eat the chicken my mother said don't you eat no chicken <laughs> <laughs> i said shoot i got some chefs coming in though and i'm telling you i will eat some food on my show all right but it just can't be chicken you know because that's a ham food. yeah but, but, <laughs> but we gonna, but we about to eat some cupcakes so we'll be right back after these messages Thank we love you. you so much <laughs> concerned about those women you have staying here in this house. People are crazy these days, Sarah. No, 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 I enjoy them. I'm enjoying these women. They help me as much as I help them. Don't you have to go to school? <laughs> Being here with you has taught me way more than school ever could. <laughs> How y'all doing? This is the fabulous. Thank you, Steve. Woo. Wait, come poke your head in and say hi to Steve. Hello, hi. everybody. <laughs> Real men do wear pink. <laughs> Yay! We have our cupcakes. First of all, let's um, just recap. We've got Nichelle Fox as my co-host every other month, so December 12th. That's right. That's we'll, our next date. Okay, December 12th at the Arts Reporter for um for our pretty is pink television show we have miss sally Pog, Pog, sally Pog, <laughs> breast cancer survivor i love her breast cancer survivor shonda sabari sabari sabari, sabari. sabari. breast I cancer know. survivor you know you okay. do a <laughs> and of course you know i miss mimi johnson that the triple threat log okay. on to mimi johnson.net and you see everything you need to see i want one i want the one with the twizzler in it okay yeah i want the one with the twizzler <laughs> now, in I it i must tell you ah. how i got these 
Okay. Yeah, tell um, us. I had an event last weekend, and mm-hmm. at the event, before the event, I got an email. Mimi said, I want some cupcakes. I'm like, where am I going to get cupcakes? The show is Wednesday. I'm not going to have time to get cupcakes. Uh-oh, why is it sure. frozen? Go ahead. Not, so, <laughs> happened along and ran into a bakery by the name of Addie Cakes. And these were brought by Addie Cakes. I put in the order. I was supposed to pick it up Tuesday. Couldn't get there in time. You know she delivered. So I have to say thank you so much, Addie Cakes. And they are located in Mableton. So if you're not sure, you need the information, we will have it posted on my page as well as a little blurb about it here on Mimi's show so that you can find the address. How do they taste? They are good. <laughs> Let me tell you something. What is this? Uh, I know you said that you one have is red velvet, and mm-hmm. we have sweet potato. Good mm-hmm. Lord, have okay. let me tell you yeah, something. Mm-hmm. They are they are so good. Now mm-hmm. y'all know. Now I ate cake last week with uh, Deidre Ward for her uh, for her daughter's uh, birthday. Taekwana, I love you, Deidre. Love you, Taekwana. And this week I'm eating yeah. cupcakes, so you know I'm gonna have to get my little exercise in Zumba and and, I, and get my workout on a little extra. Well, but you, you know, know you what? Can go with me on a training walk. We'll walk that right off. But the thing about it is that I don't do this that often, so it's a treat. Like right now, I'm, I'm not walking. Right now, my taste buds are like, wow, Mimi, I just absolutely love you. This is like week two, really. My mm-hmm. taste buds are loving it. Oh my gosh. Um, plug. <laughs> Website donate donations, please. www.the3day.org. Go to Michelle Fox and make a donation. Any amount mm-hmm. that you can make is very much appreciated. No one has money to just, you know, haphazardly toss to the side. This is a great cause. It's yes. for yourself, it's for your sister friends, it's for your daughter, it's for all of these women that you're looking at, and the same woman that you see when you look in the mirror. Yes. Any amount. Mm-hmm www.the3day.org Michelle Fox we need you we want to be there for you just like we want to be there for each of these women that are on the stage please make your donations yes come out to our events you got two happening on October 13th pick one go to both of them go to both of them yeah (laughs) bring your bra come out paint it decorate it Burn put it. it in a display <laughs> at home take the other burn one it. burn it and get rid of it and that's a salute <laughs> to those that have survived and taken this journey and then after that go home take a quick nap and then head out to the pamper me pink event and have a great time there Mimi's gonna be there as well yeah so I'll, be, come on out. I'll be singing at both of them so honey please you already know it's going down okay um Shonda yes ma'am any advice inspiration because we've got about eight minutes so okay. let's take like you know about four or five minutes or three minutes or whatever and tell us you know just inspire us inspire us like give advice say i'm a woman i just found out i got breast cancer oh my god what should i do pray yes. after you pray well don't stop praying but just do your research mm-hmm Um, get more than one opinion Um, if you feel like you need to get more than two then do that but don't immediately think that it's a death sentence because having breast cancer does not mean it's a death sentence and that's what was told to me what was told to you Mm -hmm. Um, at the time you know I, I like to say this I like to say cancer didn't kill me it didn't take my self esteem but it scared the hell out of me so be scared cry but only stay down for a short amount of time because you will rise. And in order to have a testimony, you have to have a test. So it's just a test wow. that you can pass. Do you think, and I tell this to women when I speak to them, that your attitude has a lot to do with how you handle the whole process? I think attitude has a whole lot to do with it. Um, like I said in the beginning, I was scared because immediately I was thinking I need to write my obituary. But then when it was all over and when my husband said, you know, I was okay and they got it all, what I forgot to tell you was I looked up and I was like, God, you tripping. You played a good trick on me. Mm. It was like a joke. It wasn't a nightmare. It wasn't a bad dream. It was a dream that you know I was there and now I'm out of it and it was just it was a beautiful experience wow I also want to give a shout out to Sahara who made our 
jewelry. <laughs> now right. I've got my right. onk pink, pink onk, and Michelle has her pink, pink uh, ribbon. Pink pink ribbon. ribbon. <laughs> And don't forget my beautiful earring. Yes. 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 So Sahara. So if you want to get in touch with Sahara, just log, just um, email me at uh, thearsreporter at gmail .com and I will get you in touch with her because she makes my caustic earrings for my my record label. I have my earrings with my logo, and she can make all, any kind of design Amazing that you can think pieces. of. She, I was a uh, kid in a candy store, <laughs> so we are connected now. Yeah, we are definitely connected. Her her yes. her jewelry. Jewelry is absolutely incredible. I have many pieces. I have a blue and red uh, set of earrings like that that she made. That um, so you know, Sahara. We're going to give love to you. Yes. Um, if you want, if you want some jewelry made, just um, log on uh, yes. thearchreporter.com forward slash That's no right. uh, at gmail.com. Yes. And to any survivors, any women that are out there that may mm -hmm. be going through breast cancer. Please go to my website. My information is on my website. Contact me. I would love to talk to you, play yes. with you, cry with you, you know, laugh with you. Um, just give me a call. I feel like we have Nichelle and others to to raise money and to to bring awareness to the table. But I want to be that face where when you see the pink ribbon. You know, you think about the money, you think about the lives here and that are gone. But I want to be that face that when you see my face, I want it to motivate you. I want it to dry those tears. Um, I just want to be encouragement. Mm -hmm. And I think we're all in this together. Yes, no matter our mm -hmm. role, if we're That's raising right. money, if mm -hmm. we're survivors, you know, and men, men are affected by it also. Yes. Um, and, and we're just... I just love my new job that I have now in life. Yes. And give everyone your website. www.boldandbreastless.com Okay. And then now Al is telling us uh, Pamper Me Pink and Janessa. Okay. Clark Fuji. Very good show. Must spread the buzz on this show. Very Thank good. you. Thank you. Ah, Clark Thank Fuji. You so we much. love you. Yes. Ah. Yes. That's what it's about. Everybody has a, to spread the word. Just like you talk about the latest shoes, the latest salon, the latest fashions. You need to do that same thing with encouraging your sister friends to get mm -hmm. a mammogram, to check themselves, to seek support if they are facing breast cancer. If they are recovering, get support so that you are not covering recovering alone. Right. Get support. And and it's just like having a baby. Everybody has a story, and everybody's story is different. But no story is less important than the other one. It's yes. whatever. It's whatever is good for you. May not be good for me, but it's it may be good for somebody else. But you just mm. need to put it out there. You just need to talk about it. Yeah, she's exactly right yeah. because. Her, somebody may have a story similar to her, somebody may have a story similar to mine, and even if you don't have a story that's similar to mine or hers, everybody has their own story, story. and you don't know how your story or can impact, impact or else. affect somebody else. Please share it. Yes, and that's why the Arts Reporter, we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories so that we can tell the world about these fabulous, fabulous women, fabulous men, fabulous people that have these wonderful stories. Also, please, prostate cancer. I want to be an activist for prostate cancer for men as well. So I want you to email me, thearchreporter at gmail.com. And let's see what uh, Al says, Sherry. This is from Sherry. I enjoyed your show very much. <laughs> Capital very much. <laughs> Love you, Nichelle. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank Love you. to all of the survivors and to my sorors of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Oh. Okay. <laughs> ah, that's what I'm well, talking about. I have a soror that I need to get you in touch with. Okay. Yes, I do. And she is a very recent survivor. Yes, I do. Okay. Good. Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. We'll have to thank bring her you. on. Yes. Thank you. She yes. wasn't feeling up to it because I did speak with her. So okay. she wasn't sure because she's um, 
doing chemotherapy. Yes. Now. So I told her, don't worry about it. And, you know, we're going to make a way. There's always Thank a will. You. There's a way. Thank always. You. Yes. Well, we are at the ladder of our show. We love you so much. You are tuned in to The Arts Reporter, Miss Mimi Johnson at MimiJohnson.net. Every Wednesday, it goes down right here. You can also log on to our archives. Spread the news. Spread the words. Just spread the love. Spread the joy of cancer survivors and the women that are just in it right now that are fighting. We love you so much. Log on to be, log on to www.boldandbreastless.com Thank you. Donate at www.the3day.org Nichelle Fox. And you are logged on to www.mimijohnson.net. Also, please, if you want to get in touch, thearchreporter at gmail.com. And Pamper Me Pink says, awesome. Woo! We love you. And we're going to go out with blowing a kiss. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go out by <laughs> saying tartar. Tartar. Tar -tar. Feeling good. Feeling good. Feeling good. Like a soul that's lost the blues And I'm feeling very, very good Oh, at last My blues passed And I'm free From the blues that have tortured me And I'm feeling mighty, mighty good I'm feeling good